We're getting back into expansion talk. That's right. Dennis Dodd over at CBS Sports went ahead and put up a piece that says the Pac-12 in danger of eventual collapse as Big Ten considers future expansion and Big 12 interest looms. Now, here is what we have figured out thus far. We know after the USC and UCLA announcement that they were leaving for the Big 12, excuse me, the Big 10, uh, that they are, uh, the Big 10 is looking at possibly expanding beyond just bringing in those two schools from the Pac-12. They have met with Oregon. They have met with Washington. We don't know much else about it besides that. The Big Ten media rights deal is already done. It was for a rec- over a billion dollars a year. Just absurd money. Just crazy, crazy money. It, you start going through this article, and there's some very interesting little nuggets here and there if you're really paying attention. Uh, we'll start off with this. It says, The Big Ten's continued pursuit of four Pac-12 schools is leading to concern that another round of expansion could collapse the Pac-12, industry sources tell CBS Sports. Now, why are they talking about this right now? Greg Flugauer, or Flug, Fl- I, man, I hope I say that right. Uh, <laughs> I will share out some of his stuff on Twitter. He has been saying since before the season started that the window would be sometime in the middle of October, but that the Big Ten is still looking at expanding. The reason that the Big 12 is brought into this is, no, Pac-12 schools are not going to leave for the Big 12 unless the Pac-12 is just about to collapse, right? That's that's what we're looking at here. So this says, uh, this as Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren continues to seek an offer from Amazon or potentially another partner for additional Big Ten football media rights revenue. And I'm sure you're asking, why are you continuing down this path? You already have this massive deal. It's a record-setting TV deal for any conference. You've already got enough money. Why are you continuing on with this? It says an offer deemed substantial enough would likely convince Big Ten presidents that California, Oregon, Stanford, and Washington would be valuable additions to the league from the Pac-12. That figure is believed believed to be less than $100 million annually. So what we're looking at is, yeah, you bring in USC and UCLA as full members. They get full media rights money right off the bat. You're looking at expanding this thing up to 20 teams, 20 teams in a conference. It says, if the Big Ten makes such a move, it would almost certainly increase the likelihood of the Big 12 being able to get some combination of Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, and Utah from the Pac-12, thus crushing the Pac-12 and hanging Oregon State and Washington State out to dry. Those two will join the Mountain West if this were to happen. Now, there's so many other things here, uh, but what, what we're figuring out is Kevin Warren has figured out, hey, there's no reason for us to stop right now. I understand that, you know, as a whole, our league is not going to make as much, but these new teams that would come in would be willing to take less money, especially up front for a number of years. Remember, we talked about this before, Nebraska, Maryland, and Rutgers all came in making less than what the rest of the Big Ten was making off of their media rights for a long period of time. It took a long time for them to get up to being a full member. Uh, It says, without a clear mandate, Big Ten presidents and ADs continue to evaluate whether expansion is financially viable and potential candidates are a, quote, cultural fit. Now, this this is the crazy part about this. Um, Amazon bid on the Big Ten's uh, media rights. They, they put a bid in to have a play on this. And they did not win them because the Big Ten wanted to make sure that they had all of their linear rights handled. But Kevin Warren understands that, hey, we can get in on this streaming thing if the Pac-12 is wanting to get in with Amazon, etc. Well, that means that Amazon would be interested in some of those Pac-12 teams that we're talking about bringing in over here. Why don't we just go ahead and get that deal started? Why don't we be the ones to move to the forefront of the streaming movement and we'll give them, you know, the back half of what we've got. And and you see in here, it talks about uh, some of the games that might be considered for, uh, for the Amazon window. And what you're talking about is basically Oregon against Indiana. 
uh, Rutgers against California, stuff like that, stuff that would be streaming exclusive on Amazon. It, this is really, really strange that this is coming out. Um, here we go. Cal versus Rutgers, uh, Northwestern versus Stanford, Oregon versus Indiana, etc. The crazy part about this is that uh, Fox and ESPN don't really want them to expand. It doesn't make any kind of sense, really, financially, at least not right now, and not for, really, the foreseeable future. Because you have reached, and this is the term that I've used multiple times on the show, you've reached the point of diminishing returns. Oregon, Stanford, Washington, and Cal are not going to bring in enough money to justify bringing them in to where everybody is going to get actually paid more. There's no point in it. The only point that I could see from Kevin Warren's viewpoint uh, is the idea that, hey, we want to be in front of this streaming situation. We want to go ahead and take out a competitor because some of those market dollars that could be going to the Pac-12, well, we could just take four more Pac-12 schools. We can own an extra window. We could have a Friday night game. You're, You're going to increase the number of games up to like 112 that you can actually distribute. And in doing so, you own a market share of college football. But is that good for the sport? Right? Greg Sankey has said multiple times, he's the SEC commissioner, he's talked about staying firm at 16. Part of the reason why CFP expansion was pushed was to settle down this expansion talk, this realignment talk. And yet here we are again, doing the same thing Over and over. Um, The Pac-12 and the Big 12, uh, there was discussion of them maybe merging. That was not going to happen. Uh, George Klyovkov did come out and say that no Pac-12 team uh, is joining the Big 12. Or no Pac-12 school is going to join the Big 12. He said it in July. But the truth of the matter is, if some of them do leave for the Big 10 sooner rather than later, Yeah, the other ones are going to leave for the Big 12 because they're looking for stability. At that point, you lose four more schools from the Pac-12, which is currently the Pac-10, because they haven't exactly done a lot as far as expansion. Everybody, including myself, thought that they would go and get at least San Diego State. They haven't done that. They they are still trying to figure out all of these numbers. They they started their talks early as far as their media rights negotiations, etc. I think that I'm convinced that this is going to happen. And the Big Ten is going to take four more Pac-12 schools and they are going to try and make this streaming situation work. I'm a little bit, a little bit concerned because you know that if the Big Ten does this, the SEC is going to have to go and expand. Or at least I believe that they will. They may not think so. But this is strange. This is very strange. Um... We'll see because it it appears that there's a a soft deadline of October 20th, I believe is what the article said. And if that is the case, I mean, we're we're coming up on that. We've only got a few weeks. So here's, so a different industry critic stressed there's no strategic reason for the Big Ten to expand further. That's exactly what I just said. In fact, that person thought expansion might involve lawsuits from slighted programs and possible scrutiny from the federal government. If the Big Ten and or Big 12 make a move for Pac-12 programs, the potential collapse of the Pac-12 could come amid FBS commissioners expanding the CFP, the college football playoff. Uh, SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey is among those who have advocated for CFP expansion to make the sport more of a national game. It says uh, the Pac-12 has participated in the CFP only twice in eight years. I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm a little shocked that this is, in fact, happening. There is no stability right now. There is no calming of the waters when it comes to expansion and realignment. I hope everybody's ready because the next few weeks could be very, very telling as to what to expect from the sport as far as a national level is concerned going forward. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.